The Sputnik West Coast Random Source Module is a Buchla 266 Source of Uncertainty clone, with many functions contained in one device. One of these functions is common in sound synthesis, sample and hold. Sample and hold is a fairly simple concept with many applications. Two incoming signals are required, a pulse or clock source, and an alternating or variable current, such as an LFO. Whenever a pulse is received, the module will sample the current voltage at the CV input at the moment of that pulse, until another pulse is received. On the next pulse, the module forgets the held voltage and looks to the CV input again, holding whatever voltage is coming in at the most recent pulse. I'll patch a triangle-shaped LFO from the Maleco anti-oscillator into the CV input on the sample and hold section, and the pulse output from the Sputnik 5-step pulser to the pulse input as my clock source. I'll route the output to an oscillator 1 volt per octave input so we can hear what the sample and hold is doing. At a slower pulse rate, we hear the sample and hold stopping on a different voltage every time a pulse is received. As we turn up the rate of the clock, we start to hear the rising and falling shape of the LFO, as the sample and hold scrubs through it bit by bit. A noticeable stepped effect is created, and the faster the clock, the smoother that motion seems to become. As the clock slows down, we begin to lose the shape of the triangle LFO. We might hear repeating shapes, according to the length of the LFO cycle, but the clear shape of the incoming LFO disappears. The sample and hold on the Sputnik has a few interesting quirks. The pulse input is connected with two pulse outputs, which divide the incoming pulse, alternating each pulse to one output, then the other. Here, those outputs are driving an alternating kick and snare pattern, but these could be used to trigger the other randomizing sections of the module. The CV outputs can send the sample and held value on every pulse from the center output, or each alternating pulse, similar to the pulse outputs above, only sending every other held step. The other useful section on this module for sampling and holding is the noise source section. When patched into the CV input on the sample and hold, different types of stepped but chaotic random voltages can be generated, particular to each noise color. How are you using sample and hold? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.